There's no denying that most actors love the opportunity to disappear deep into their characters, and while the bigger budget world of movies does allow actors to undergo shocking physical transformations, it is a little less common in the more frantic time sensitive realm of TV. But every now and then we will see a major actor transformed beyond any and all recognition to play a part. I'm Josh from WhatCulture.com and these are 9 actors who made sure they weren't seen in TV shows. Number 9. Donald Glover, Atlanta Small screen transformations don't get much more drastic than Donald Glover's, uh, makeover to play Michael Jackson-esque recluse Teddy Perkins in Atlanta's eponymously titled second season episode. Here, Glover wore extensive makeup and prosthetics to play the part, and received no formal credit for the role, and even went to the extreme of staying in makeup and in character for the duration of shooting. As a result, fellow cast members Derek Haywood and Lakeith Stanfield didn't even know it was him playing a part. Hilariously, Glover even created a backstory for Teddy, which he fed to a blissfully ignorant Stanfield. There was only really the director of the episode who was aware of the roots, and described staring into Glover's disguised face as quote unquote, uncanny and unsettling. At once an ingenious subversion of historical Hollywood racism and a genuinely creepy character in his own right, Glover's decision to disappear into Teddy beyond all recognition was an absolute masterstroke. Number 8. Rob McElhenney, Game of Thrones as extremely recognisable as It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia style Rob McElhenney might be, he managed to pass by all but the most eagle-eyed viewers when he made a sneaky cameo in Game of Thrones' season 8 premiere, Winterfell. McElhenney appears for a few seconds as an iron-born warrior who gets shot through the eye with an arrow. And after the intense blowback against the show creators for including an embarrassingly unsubtle Ed Sheeran cameo in season 7, God It Still Hurts, it made sense that McElhenney's cameo was far more subtle. In a knowing nod to both his character's method of death and the brevity of his role, McElhenney posted Don't Blink under social media following the episode. Due to both the darkness of the scene and the extensive makeup applied to the actor's face, it was easy even for hardcore It's Always Sunny fans to miss this one. Number 7. Mandy Moore, This Is Us Hit drama series This Is Us fleets back and forth between time periods to tell its story, requiring lead actress Mandy Moore to repeatedly undergo an extensive makeup transformation to resemble an older Rebecca Pearson, and eventually an elderly ailing Rebecca at the end of her life. The makeup work though has been persuasive enough that social media is still frequently flooded today with fans asking who the unknown old actress is that plays the old Rebecca, when it is in fact the luminous Mua herself rendered unrecognisable under layers of makeup and prosthetics. In fact Mua said of going on set to shoot the scenes, quote, When I walked onto the set that last day, people were shocked, people didn't recognise me, it was very weird, end quote. Number 6. Jason Alexander, Star Trek Voyager Jason Alexander, of course, became a TV megastar during the 90s thanks to his indelible performance as George Costanza on sitcom Seinfeld. And being a huge Trekkie, he used that fame to put the feelers out to the producers of Star Trek to arrange a cameo on one of their shows. Alexander was eventually offered a part on Star Trek Voyager, but had one very specific demand, that he wanted to play a character who would be the absolute antithesis of George himself. Basically, he wanted to play someone who wasn't even human. He said, quote, They wanted me to play a human, and kind of a George-like human. I told them the big departure for me would be to play an alien. I did so much histrionics as George, I was kind of hoping I'd wind up as a Vulcan so that I'd get to play some great intellect, end quote. Alexander ended up appearing quite unrecognisably in the season 5 episode Think Tank as Kuros, the speaker for a group of highly intelligent aliens. Considering that Alexander's facial presence so soon after the end of Seinfeld would have been totally distracting in a show like Star Trek, it was a smart choice to transform him completely and he played the part perfectly as well. Number 5. Lily James, Pam and Tommy When it was announced that a biographical drama series based on the relationship between Pamela Anderson and Tommy Lee was in the works, there was much speculation about who would end up playing the iconic Baywatch starlet. However, few would have jumped to pick Lily James, an undeniably talented actress but one whose girl next door roles didn't quite tee up a performance as Anderson. Most of those concerns evaporated, however, when the first images were released for the series, showing both James and co-star Sebastian Stan in costume as their respective characters. To call James's transformation mind-boggling is to undersell it as well. Thanks to awards-worthy makeup work and smart costuming choices, James looks the absolute spitting image of the 90s sex symbol. Regardless of how the entire show turns out, it's clear that James has committed herself fully to inhabiting the part. 
Number 4. Russell Crowe, The Loudest Voice Russell Crowe is undeniably one of Hollywood's most recognisable A-list actors, and so the prospect of him ever disappearing entirely into a role seems quite frankly a little bit ridiculous. But that he certainly did when he played disgraced Fox chairman and CEO Roger Ailes in the 2019 miniseries The Loudest Voice, for which Crowe won a Golden Globe for Best Actor. In this, Crow spent between two and a half and six hours a day in the makeup chair in order to resemble the honcho for the series' seven month shoot, an experience he described as a face jail. But Crow also worked intimately with veteran prosthetic makeup supervisor Adrian Moreau to design the prosthetics to be applied to his face to ensure that he was given an otherworldly transformation without the prosthetics pressing against his vocal cords and impeding his ability to speak. The end result is, quite frankly, mind boggling, and it's easy to see why the uncanny resemblance to Ailes was such an immediate hit with critics, despite their generally lukewarm response to the show itself. Number 3. John Wayne Wagon Train Actors don't get more statuesque or iconic than John Wayne, one of the most recognisable stars in the history of Hollywood, and one who surely couldn't get far without being noticed. Though Wayne is of course best known for his big screen work, he did also make a fleeting cameo appearance in the 1950s to 1960s western TV series Wagon Train. The season 4 episode, titled The Cult of Craven Story, was directed by Wayne's regular collaborator John Ford, who had also directed the 1950 movie on which Wagon Train was based on called Wagon Master. So, Wayne couldn't resist the urge to take a role in the episode, playing a general, but doing so under the literal cover of night by appearing only in low light while rocking a fake beard, rendering his face barely visible. Wayne was also credited under the name Michael Morris, in reference to his real name Marion Robert Morrison, and so the only real way to tell it's the actor at all is from his distinctive vocal drawl. Number 2. Meryl Streep, Angels in America Mike Nichols' 2003 adaptation of the legendary play Angels in America boasts a veritable acting masterclass from Meryl Streep, who played four different characters over the course of the six-episode miniseries. Though three of the characters are immediately recognisable women played by Streep, the actress truly stretches herself by playing an elderly male rabbi called Isidore Kemowitz. Despite the obvious gimmickry of such a transformation, there is nothing gimmicky about Streep's performance, and she was convincingly chameleonic enough that her appearance even managed to fool author and illustrator Murray Sendak, who made a cameo as a fellow rabbi. According to director Nichols, Sendak had no idea he'd spent the entire day working with Streep. In addition to even fooling her co-stars then, Streep's performance went down gangbusters with her critics and contemporaries, winning her Best Actress awards from the Golden Globes, the Emmys and the Screen Actors Guild. Number 1. George Clooney, South Park George Clooney was a vocal early supporter of South Park, even reportedly mailing out around 500 VHS copies of Matt Stone and Trey Parker's prototype short film compilation The Spirit of Christmas, which helped the pair gain esteem in Hollywood and eventually bring their vision to series. The duo repaid Clooney by inviting him to provide a voiceover for the show's fourth ever episode. Here, Clooney voiced the dog Sparky, but obviously the character didn't have any lines of dialogue, only barks. Stone and Parker loved the idea of hiring an A-list actor to give such a minor performance. Evidently, Clooney was up for the deceptive cameo as well, the result of which left Comedy Central executives absolutely disappointed after expecting a far more overt voiceover performance from the legendary actor. Clooney did, however, memorably return to voice a doctor in the 1999 movie adaptation South Park Bigger, Longer and Uncut. So that's our list, I want to know what you guys think down in the comments below. Did you notice all of these actors in these roles, and are there any cool transformations I missed off here? While you're down there, could you please give us a like, share, subscribe, and head over to whatculture.com for more lists and news like this every single day. Even if you don't though, I've been Josh, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.